best kept secrets travel. Exactly, and that comes straight into our next point, which is talking about budgets. Because mm -hmm. in our first episode, we talk about planning. And one of the main things about planning is, you know, if you're going up to the Alps and your main goal for the whole trip is you're climbing, let's say Mont Blanc, and you're going through these refuges, you know that a beer is going to cost you probably eight to 12 euros just for a can of beer. That should already be budgeted for, and you should already mentally take that as a note within your planning stage. Whereas if you're going, assuming that beer is a hundred percent what you're trying to trying to have, <laughs> yeah. But you know, if someone's mountain you come down, and you think, oh, let's celebrate, let's have a beer. Maybe mm. maybe you don't drink and you want a water, but half a juice or whatever. But that's all. That should realistically be in your budget. Whereas if you're going to these different locations, if you're travelling around. Southeast Asia, if you're going to Australia, if you're going to South America, anywhere around Europe, you'll have a lot of variety, you'll have different choices, different shops will have different budgets already around. Mm -hmm. And food and drink is generally something which is quite hard to haggle with anyway. Yeah. Whereas as soon as you start looking at clothing, local stands then become a bigger player in the haggling world because mm -hmm. they really want you to buy it off them, whereas some and their often the people running the shop and in there are also the owner of the shop whereas yeah. if you go to some of the brands won't name drop too many but if you know we're in Cusco there's a Heli Hansen North Face and all that stuff because they know there's hikers around there yeah. and those people in the shop have very limiting power in terms of what discount they can give you mm -hmm. their job doesn't completely and their sort of livelihood doesn't depend on you buying that one jacket that day Yeah, exactly. whereas us going and buying the jumper really benefits on the local community 